What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here, coming at you with more sweet video game action. Welcome back to Wasteland 3. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. So much love to you. I deeply appreciate it. We have just finished at the Monster Army Bunker and are heading back to the Bazaar to get healed up and to hand in the quest Cinema Verite. Do a little bit of exploration. Okay, so that's just leading on. Ah, uh, yeah, for you, definitely. It was all for you, you crazy ass stalker. Bizarre interior. Nice. The bazaar exports meat, leather, and manure to Colorado Springs in trade for more varied foodstuffs and supplies, as well as acting as a secure trading hub. Interesting. Wonder how it's doing now, it's under old Charlie. New management. We shall see if we have any Tarjan tokens as well while we're here. See if we can get another buff. But I think we used our last one up. Guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by oh, dark. Shit. That weird guy in the fountain? Ah, our clown slaying knights in shining armor. You honor us by visiting our little theater. We've got the movie wheels from the bunker, but they look pretty damaged. Ah, uh, let's see what we've got here. Damn, this looks pretty bad. Can you still use them? Where there's a will, there's a way. Just stand over there and look cute while I check this out. Well, there's nothing I do better than looking cute. She holds the film reels to the light, an eye squeezed, an eye squeezed shut, tongue poking from the corner of her mouth. What's the verdict? Well, I won't lie. They aren't exactly what I was hoping for, but we can salvage this. So here's what I'm thinking. The film is falling apart, and I can't get a full show out of any of them. But I'm seeing bits and pieces that we could totally use with a bit of imagination. Let's examine the reels together, and we'll come up with a story worthy of chicks flicks. Here, look at these. Do you see a good main character? She holds some decaying film clips up to the light. We see a man running from a boulder. He has a hat and a whip. Oh, <laughs> classic. We see two cops, one older with a mustache, the other with a glorious mullet. We see a barefoot man in a tank top sneaking through an office building. Oh, it's got to be the Die Hard reference. Hmm. Maybe he tries to sneak through the shadows and he's spotted. But not by a guard, no. Plot twist! The person spotting him is his former lover, and their passions rekindle instantly into lewd office sex. Yeah, that sounds better than the plot to Die Hard. That's a great setup, but we need to decide where it takes place. Here, look over these reels. Car racing down a road, lightning strikes, and the car accelerates to ludicrous speed. There's a wooden ship, pirate ship, hidden in a cavern, holding treasure. This looks like some kind of military flight academy. No, it's got to be the pirate ship, of course. Oh, I see. Pirates. 
That's great. Yar, you scurvy. The character escapes with the treasure and sets himself up as a body pirate king who conquers a rival armada by ensuring they're too sexed up to complain. Sure, we'll go with that. Now, for the pièce de résistance, my lovelies, some of these old reels still have semi-legible labels. Give it your best shot. Sex me up a title. Romancing the bone. Fuck loose. Goat thrusters. Uh, romancing the bone, I think, is good. Hmm. Poetic. Beautiful. Seductive. Just the way your Adelon likes it. Oh, I see you have some beauties of your own with you. What do you think? Could one of your gorgeous friends star? <laughs> the provolus comes running in. It's like, me, me, I will do it. How long would you need a companion for? Oh, just for a hot minute, darling. They'll be right back with you. Girl Scouts honor. Sounds right up your alley, Quan. Yeah, let's get Quan to do it. I've been a fan of your work for many years, Idolon. It would be an honor. Oh, Marshal Quan, it'll be our pleasure. Just don't go stealing the spotlight from any of my boys, okay? A job well done, you. Okay, everyone. Places. Our audience awaits. What's that? A script? <laughs> Darling, we don't need those. Ladies, gents, that was everything a simple man could ever dream of. Thank you. Now, don't you think your 80 would forget your dues? You've been such a big help, Sugar Pies. So here's your reward. Come talk to me later to see how we got on, okay? Can I talk to her now? Ah. How delightful to see you again, my muses. No. Come back real soon. Oh, shit. That weird guy in the fountain? He's staring at us again. I love those Whoa, boots. Don't make Where'd you get that? Wonder if I can get here. Here. Let's get the dog to heal us up. Oh, you again. What is it? Ah, uh, pig. Human. <laughs> Ain't so different. <laughs> Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Promise. Yeah. Let's see if Charlie has anything to say. Might have an extra quest for us. I'm sure word of Charlie's glorious victory will spread soon. It already has. Colorado Springs knows all about the little agreement that we made. I got this awful rash. Dr. Coltuck can do what ails ya. Cool. Notice of fraud. The image on this poster is worn away. The text below reads, Do not serve this man. He is suspect of skipping out on bar tabs all over town. He may go by the aliases Scotchmo or King of the Jungle. If you have any information concerning this, man's, this man, please contact your local authorities. So Scotchmo has been about. Oodles and noodles only at Na Makato's. Sanctified with blood. Okay, I cut that short for some reason. By guns. Let's just get out of here. So Scotchbow has been making his presence known all across Colorado. Skipping out on bar tabs and drinking himself silly, I should imagine. So now the only quest we have left to do is to head to Denver. See what's up over there. Hopefully we'll be able to find a route that isn't radio radioactive. Isn't lined with radiation. 
and it gets us there safely. Radioactive, radioactive. It's a great song. Good old Imagine Dragons. Haven't heard anything from them in a while, actually. Wonder what they're up to. I'm never changing who I am. It's a different song by the same group. Just as good though. Look at that Los Payasos cannon. It's beautiful. Where is it? Clown makeup and all. It sets people on fire as well. That's the cool thing about it. Dewey by Polly. 863. How much Animal Whisperer do we need? More than we have, don't we? Do we have three, six? We've got seven in Animal Whisperer now. That should be enough to talk to Polly and get her for free, I think. Oh, what? They're gone. Oh, I must have killed them. Whoops. Phase Blaster, military grade energy weapons bring the higher damage payload without looking like a phaser. Oh man, I'm really disappointed. VHS tape, looks like someone taped over whatever was on here with some old horror movies. Oh, Charlie must have killed them off when he took over the bazaar. Oh, now I feel really bad. Everyone's dead. We killed absolutely everyone here. Yikes. I didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to get Polly after that. Oh well. Too late now. Sorry Polly, you foul-mouthed little bastard. That's karma for you. She's a cruel mistress. The bile bomber is a gruel is a drool that explodes in a shower of poisonous bile when killed. Yes, we're aware of that. It's going to be a long trip to Denver, so I should imagine we'll get a couple of ambushes along the way. Run into some unfriendly locals. An inhospitable wildlife. Oh, I forgot to check the Tarjan token. Screw it, we'll do it later. Yeah, the Zealot traveled travel to Denver. Travels the ruins of Denver and locate Vala Buchanan. Where's the map? Denver. So it's up the road. Hopefully we can get to it without being dissolved by radiation. We've got level 2 radiation resistance at the moment. Oh, there we go. An encounter. Enemy spotted. A pack of jewels moves through the, harsh, through the brush nearby. It looks like they're hunting, but they haven't seen you yet. Sneak up on them. The jewels fail to notice you as you get into position. Time to strike. Ugh, I don't like jewels. They're a nightmare, but they're better than those stupid amphibians. Giant amphibians are the worst. So we should be able to handle this relatively easy peasy without anyone getting too damaged. Oh, what is that? That's a jewel I've never seen before. It's 
It's got 30 armor. Finish that jewel off. Oh, yes, the critical, beautiful. That's what we like to see. We want them to close in rather than us run to them, we want them to run to us. How many more of them are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. Blimey, there's enough of them, isn't there? Oh, Lucy Weston's down in one hit. That was a critical, though. My goodness, these guys are tough. Oh, come on, man. I really need to hit. Two misses on 75%. Three misses on 75%. Good work, you fucking idiot. Critical? Yes, thank you. Critical again? Actually, we'll go for the special shot just to make sure he gets a critical. Yeah, headshot. Oh, he didn't get a critical. Magic. I thought it was friendly turn next. Uh, must be friendly turn after an enemy turn. No, my robot chicken's getting fucked up.
Damn it, it's got a lot of health. Go for the body scared of his armor. Oh man, how can you not kill it? Not have killed it. He's got 75% chance to hit again. How does he do? Good. One hit. Oh, I should have stunned it. Oh, well, it's not doing that much damage. Yeah, it's better doing anything. Oh, he says before he hits the sniper, takes the sniper out in one turn. You can get Lucia Wesson up. Can't shoot it because it'll get... Ugh, that's so annoying. Done it and then kill it. Can't shoot it because the bloody chicken's in the way. Marshall Kwong can get a sniper up. Couple of criticals from the chicken. The clone is doing its thing. Those are some tough jewels. Pretty good for finish. Nice. Now we can't save it because it's a world map encounter. We get a large container though. Bolts, 0.30 ammo, 5.56, 4.5 ammo, 0.50 ammo, 7.72, and health. Frozen heart, that's all we get. Oh, as well as experience. What did he get? Hit chance, minus, ah, oh, he got the worst one, gouge die. What about Lucia Wesson? Critical damage. The throwing range. Coordination. I 
actually I'm not going to bother getting Barter out with him. I think I'll go for Armor Modding to see if it stacks. For the moment you can get first aid up. Okay, let's get out of here. Radioactive fallout has spawned horrific mutations in both people and animals throughout the wasteland. Yeah, sorry my reading's not quite on point. I've got some pretty bad issues with my eyes that I need to get sorted. Ended up falling asleep staring at the sun a couple of years back and burned some holes in my retina, which makes it hard to read stuff. I can see fine, but focusing on letters and numbers is difficult. Makes it hard to read, it's a bit irritating. Apart from that, my eyes are fine. Save it and carry on our journey. Onwards to Denver. Hello, what's this? Investigate. Cache, ahead of you on the side of the road you see what first looks like an outhouse. As you get closer you see it's a lovingly made wooden shrine open at the front but covered with a pitched roof. You get out to examine it and see that placed on the altar within is a broken toaster with an inscription above it that reads the warmth that transforms. Pray to the toaster. Toaster repair. Yeah, repair the toaster, definitely. Tactical armour, nice. Whoa, how the heck did that get in there? Tactical armor helmet. Tactical armor legs. Gonna save that, because that's quite useful stuff. Let's just take a look. Armor plus five, armor plus three. Critical hit chance plus three and armor plus four. What's Marshall Quan got? Armor plus six, armor plus seven, armor plus three. He's already got the tactical armor legs. That's armor plus four. That's armor plus five. So we'll look like that. Armor plus five, armor plus six. Very useful. Sister Reckoning, a big truck painted like an American flag stops when it sees you. A woman in a red cowboy hat leans out. Howdy, partners. My name is Sister Nancy Reckoning, a Reagan-blessed arms dealer. Y'all need guns? Kiss ass, you gippers are true Americans. The only hope for Colorado's future. Thanks for saying that, Patriot. It means a lot. What's the word from the Shining City on the Hill? Across this land and blessing us all. 
Show us what you got. Reagan blights this arm steel. Machine turret, 72. I think I'll buy a couple of those actually. If she's got eight, I'll buy all eight. Apart from that, I don't think we've got much money for anything else, so we'll leave it at that. Roadblock, as you enter a wooded ravine, something makes you slow the Kodiak, a movement, a noise, a flash of light. Maybe it was just fleeting. Maybe it was just a feeling, but the might but the night seems darker now. The hairs rise on your neck. Trust your instincts go cautiously. You crawl ahead in low gear, eyes darting everywhere, it gets darker and darker. After a turn after a tight turn, your headlights flash across two big metal structures flanking the road. Structures, no robots. Another steps behind the Kodiak. Their servos whine as they lock their guns on you. An, ampl an amplified voice tells you to step out of the vehicle. You don't really have a choice. Okay, I'm hoping this is just the arrival to Denver and not another random encounter. Because so we've already lost plenty of resources and health on the drools that engaged us earlier Oh shit, it's Liberty. Right. Light him up. Wow. And I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Jeez. What a hell of an entry. She is fit. Damn, now we know why your father told us to bring you in. Put your hands up. That's some cold-blooded shit. We're taking you out here now. All right, we'll deliver the message. Try to put your hands up. <laughs> Points for bravado, but my robots will turn you into a thin red mist before you get a shot off. Want to reconsider? Yeah, I do. Whoops. Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. And that's not either of my brothers. Damn, that's some fine armor you're wearing. You think your father is killing Colorado? Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masks. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... Ugh, why am I arguing policy with a bunch of gun jockeys? The point is... My father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. I kind of agree with what she's saying, to be honest, from what I've seen so far. You don't think your brothers are fit to rule? Ha! I can see you haven't met him. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. I wouldn't trust either one to run a mess tent, let alone a country. To think of all the years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. God. What else should we know about victory? Shoot him before he talks. Your sanity will thank you, and you'll be doing Colorado a favor. Not that it'll be easy getting to him. He's got his followers hooked on some kind of hypno-happy gas. They'll do anything for him, including die. Tell us more about Valor. The sooner he dies, the better for Colorado. 
He's the perfect puppet for some usurper like the Gippers to put on my father's throne and claim he's the legitimate heir. Of course, killing him would piss Daddy off, and you ass kissers wouldn't want that. Might be the only way to get him out of Denver, though. Those Gippers got their hooks in him deep. Okay, we're done here. You can go. I'm too scared to do any of the other options, to be honest. You're too dangerous to live. We're taking you down. She'll annihilate us with a couple of robots that size. No problem. We can't let you go. You're under arrest. Okay, we're done here. You can go. It's the only one. I, I know I don't have a spine, but it's the only one I think we'll live through. Ha! Thank you for your permission. Squad, roll out. Jeez. So we met Liberty out of nowhere. Cold heat and explosive damage all ignore armor. However, some enemies have special elemental resistances. Yeah, she cut an incredibly imposing figure in that kind of armor that she's wearing, flanked by giant robots. And just her whole demeanor as well. And I agreed with what she's saying about Colorado. The Patriarch needs to take control if, it's, if he wants to rule properly. Like, what's the point in allowing the monster army to flourish and to carry on after everything they did? Just a bunch of idiots in masks that couldn't even handle a bunch of clowns moving into their cellar. It was a joke. And they control the commercial hub. No wonder Colorado's not flourishing. I guess we head into Denver. The rubble strewn streets of Denver, the Mile High City, the Colorado State Capitol building still stands among the towering ruins. Enter the Denver ruins. Mother Nancy Resistance, no, Reliance. Mother Nancy Reliance is the most recent leader of the Gippers, right. So I guess we're about to meet the Gippers, whoever they are. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Kids okay, so ask, we respectfully request an audience with God President to negotiate on behalf of the Patriarch. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Okay. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. What the hell is that? Statue of Regan. I've heard about this thing. Some kind of sentient super weapon. So watch out. Thank you, Wilson. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. 
Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Some kind of weird Wizard of Oz shit. You know, talking statue decide people's fates? That's not like any American justice we know. Oh yeah, look at that. Is this some kind of Wizard of Oz thing? Is there a guy in there making it talk? There is no one in there but God. Oh, they didn't like that. Now please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? Communist? Blimey. Kablamo! No one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. They don't like communism Go still, then. And, uh, sin no more. Gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the shining city on the hill. Y'all seem like a bunch of crazy people to me. Nice work blowing up that robot, that was, that's what those rust buckets deserve. So why did you kill the helpful robot and not the psycho who skinned your commando? Regan's justice was impressive, where could we get a weapon like that? Ooh, tempted between those two. Let's go with a weapon like that. Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Okay. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Okay. Good day. Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we plowed the patriarch's soil. You're the Rangers, right? Meeting God President Reagan is a great honor. Congratulations! Wow! Desert Rangers. Sister Glory. You don't get many famous folks around these parts. And you're getting the VIP treatment too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? How did you and Mother Nancy make that statue kill that communist robot earlier? Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the God President. Ain't that right, son? I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Creepy. Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Real creepy like. Wait, that statue's the actual God President. We thought he was inside. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. The robot held your people, so why did Regan kill it? Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. Yeah. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. This sounds worthy of worship. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Who was that woman Mother Reliance set free? Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or... Something like that. Uh, we heard something like that from the guy in the bunker who was living on the life support machine. He was saying that she stole his clan from him or something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers. Pinko robots or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. 
These godfishes seem a bit too close for comfort. Need some help chasing them off. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile. And Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck... Always am. Um, don't worry, we'll save you. We'll see what we can do. Well, thanks, Rangers. What else uh, can I do for you? So your name is Nancy Glory, and your boss is Nancy Reliance. Why are so many of you named Nancy? We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife. Back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve. Being a Nancy. Right. I love my Nancy. Okay. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. We could use a rebrief on the Godfishers. The Godfishers? Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. So, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. Take care, Glory. You too, Rangers. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Mother Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Let's just quick save it before it crashes. See if we can talk to the statue. Guess not. Right, guys. Well, we're coming up to the hours. This is probably a good place to wrap things up here for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching the stream. I do greatly appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. As always, it's been an absolute blast. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment in the section down below before you go. Or consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and are looking for more video game content in the future. I'll be uploading much more of this, plus a variety of other games on a regular basis, so be sure to check back frequently for updates as the channel grows and develops. Guys, once again, thank you so much for hanging out. See you in the next one. Until then, peace out, and as always, stay classy.